I'm from the Philippines. I'm from Phoenix. Together, Together we're, we're Phil's to Phoenix. Phoenix. Two countries. One heart. Welcome, Welcome to, to our, our weekly Chica Chica. Chica Chica. Hey, we got that the first thinking time this week. <laughs> Great job. Yeah, we actually got notes this week to try and keep us on track and move things along a little bit better. Don't know how well it's going to work, but we're going to give it a shot this week. That the first thing on the notes, make sure to watch our live stream. Yes. We're gonna do we're gonna start trying to do a live stream once a month. We thought it was kind of a cool thing. Yep. That it's gonna be the second Saturday of every month. Yep. That's and true. it's gonna be from six to seven Arizona time. Yep. And what is our topic? Are Americans always angry or, or are we just loud? <laughs> That's a good topic, so. <laughs> it was something that we dealt with early on, and a little bit of the culture differences and the culture clashes that we had over it. And it was kind of a cool thing. We figured that'd be a cool topic to start with people. Yeah. So what happened this week? We, just a regular week. I have a work, and I have a class. I got to do housework. I did get to go out and do car repairs this week. Yeah. <laughs> We had kind of an expensive week this week. <laughs> and I did my uh, shoes shopping. Oh, we actually eat. Yeah, Friday Friday night we went out to eat. There's a really cool restaurant, Black Bear Diner. They're really good. I like they do an all-you-can-eat fish fry. It's kind of a good old home cooking. And I like my uh, chicken grill pesto pasta, which I have a leftover, and I have it yesterday for lunch, and then I have it for dinner. <laughs> <laughs> They're generous on their portions. They're, They're like really good, though. Big, yeah. And I had the chance to buy ten pair of shoes for a hundred fifty dollars. <laughs> <laughs> Pay less shoes is going out of business, and she figured she'd help them. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's a good way of helping, right? The Imelda Marcos jeans coming out pretty good. <laughs> Most of these are going to the ballot buying box to go back to the Philippines. Yeah. Which, that needs to be get shipped out this week. So. so, tomorrow you could put the box and then it will start. You just put the box in there and we'll start filling yeah, it. Yeah, that's part of the reason why we got a little bit of a different setup today is. Yeah. Uh, Ballot Buying Box is kind of like going where we normally do this. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> we figured it'd be kind of a cool change up anyhow. Yep. And then Saturday, I went to go overtime at work for half a day. Yeah, you did 8 to about 12.30. Yes, and then we are taking up. <laughs> I took a nap. I need a nap. And then made the, her get up early on a Saturday. <laughs> yes, and then on the evening we get to go to a wedding anniversary. It's their thirteenth year wedding anniversary. Yeah, they're another Philam couple. They met over in the Middle East. That he was in the Air Force, and she she works in Bahrain. Bahrain. Yeah, that's what I heard. That she, I guess she worked at one of the hotels over in Bahrain. Yeah, five star hotel. Yeah. And they met over there, and that they decided to make it permanent, and it was a real cool thing. But yeah, that we met them while we were out here, and yeah, it was a really cool same thing. Their anniversary that we yeah, got I a little bit of clips. Yeah, I met her four years ago when I started volunteering in the market in the move, and there are, she's one of those friends that you could rely, and even you don't meet, but you could always like go to call to you know those. You, I have a lot, I you know a lot of Filipinos here in the valley, but you could always like, even you don't talk or see each other, but the, you could see that the relationship relationship was built and the connection is still there. And, and she's always been there for us. So yeah. I half-heartedly tried that I, I'm not really good at planning events like this, but I did a, a mildly surprise birthday party last year. No, the year other before. year. Yeah, the other year. And invited her at the last minute. And she came in and she showed up and it was really cool. Yeah. Uh, the, Sunday we went to a different church. Yeah, today. The, this was actually a different church than we've been going to. Yeah. It was that an another awesome. friend of yours yeah. kind of led us to it. Yeah. I like it though. And I'm I'm looking forward to get involved with the church. It's a small well, church. Well, why do you like it so much? <laughs> it's a Filipino <laughs> and it's food there's food and i like like the preaching it's just more of a filipino way and it's more of a homey you know what i mean like just 
few people and you get a, it's a small church it's kind of a ministry type church you get to hug everyone <laughs> and then and after that we get food and i like it though i i feel like right now at this season uh, in our season of life that we need you know like we've been praying and looking in for a, a new church that we want to and yeah it's just here gotta give you we're gonna go back to church here but it is. It's a really cool church. If there's probably twenty people there tops. Yeah. Normally, I, according to Ati Marlene, there's like half people are absent today. So normally, like forty, fifty actually. Oh, okay. But yeah, today like just twenty five something to three. But eventually, I actually like it. Like I like their songs, which I really knew back home, and I could like really <laughs> express. And you know, I don't mind if their songs are repeated because I'm used to it. You know. And there's always lots of food. Yes. <laughs> Next week we'll be planning to bring food too because you know at least we could share. Oh yeah, and it's a, I like it. The preaching, the song, the yeah, I'm planning in the future of uh, getting in full. It, that's actually it's actually a really cool little church, and I hope it does well. Yeah, definitely. Since we're um, um, like since it's like we're diverse culture, like you as my uh, husband. Um, we're trying though we what I'm saying is like combining cultural like you know what I mean like, it, it does because most of the couples there are obviously Phil Am yeah uh, there's a lot of Filipino there uh, Filipino couples there that I was kind of surprised to see that I didn't realize there was that many that both husband and wife are Filipino that, that that's kind of unusual to see yeah and even in most of the groups that we've been together it's always been Phil Am couples that it hasn't really been yeah Filipino couples. We've only known a mm -hmm. small handful. I know. It's just weird that most of the... It's like you and Ati Marlene. You and me, Ati Marlene, are more of the America film. And I see the other also couple, the other time when we went to that tree. And most of the couples I see them, like both husband and wife are Filipinos. It's really cool. But it's more like getting into with the people and you know like it's just neat to see you know what i mean it is really cool I, i'm definitely looking forward to it uh the church actually has an online website that it's part of a much larger church yeah and i'll post a link to the website in the uh, description yeah uh, it's actually big in the Philippines, though, because it came from the Philippines. Jesus is Lord. Oh, it's a big church in the Philippines. Yeah. It's like each it town has, like, I heard that. So we, we might need to search. We'll have to look that up when we get in there. Yep. But next Saturday is the Philippine Independence Day celebration. What day? What is the actual uh, June 12th. Day? June 12th. June 12th. That, we're cel that they celebrate it on the Saturday, on the weekend before, usually a Saturday. Yeah. And it's there's often a dinner on a Sunday. Yeah. Uh, that they crown the Miss, Miss, Miss Filipino or Arizona Miss Dinner order. Philippines, yeah. This time it's like Miss Little Philippines. Last time is Mrs. Philippines. So they always like. Oh. They always like it change it because last time when Suzanne won is the Miss Din, and the following is Miss Din, and last year was Mrs. Philippines, and now it's Miss Little Philippines. So cool. That's cool. That's what I just saw in the Facebook. Not really into it, but. <laughs> yeah, I've never been terribly big into the beauty pageant scene, but. Uh... I like beauty pageant. I support it, especially it's like Philippines. Especially when the Filipinas win, huh? Yes, we support it. We're all out support. Because it's the entire country. When Miss Philippines won Miss Universe? Yeah. That she was saying she wanted to see it. I know. And it confused me. And I, I didn't quite get it. And over that she was a little bit disappointed with me on that one. And over the next couple days... Seeing the Facebook and YouTube reaction videos <laughs> to the Filipinas worldwide that were watching this and just came on glued when Miss Philippi uh 
Miss Philippines won the title. Yeah. I didn't appreciate how, how serious Filipinos took these beauty pageants. Yeah, we do. We're competitive. Like, if it's Manny Pacquiao play for boxing, like, you go to watch. That's right. Any, like, beauty pageants. Yeah, entire town shut down. Yeah, there's no traffic, I tell you. We're all in the basketball court, um, um, centrum or complex, and watch that. Even at school, the teacher stopped class during your lessons. I, I don't know the truth to this, but I, I read a Facebook post about it. That supposedly in Manila, when he fought um, Mayweather, yeah. that whether or not they just didn't respond or what, I don't know. But supposedly there was zero crime rate. Yeah. For a couple hours in Manila, because <laughs> everybody shut down. <laughs> yeah, and that yeah that that uh, the barangays will get together, and they'll go out to the basketball court and rent the TVs and projectors, and they'll yeah it, it's when, when Manny Pacquiao fights it's an, it's an insane thing. Phil, the Philippines just shuts down for a couple hours. Yeah, we pay a lot of respect. And support. I knew that they were that serious about that, but I didn't quite appreciate they were so now you about as equally serious about these beauty pageants <laughs> yeah so next year this coming december november so you better watch out you get this better not cry better not pop yes because we're going to watch the universe pageant okay okay i guess i got my marching orders <laughs> sounds like a good time to be out of town <laughs> <laughs> you could have rick you go have a beer and I'll watch it. <laughs> and Karen. <laughs> you and Karen will rent the pay per view version of it. Ati Marlene. Whoever. Ati Jane. Over my Philippine universe. <laughs> I could see you guys doing that. Oh, yeah. Definitely. In a heartbeat. Yep. But okay, so now I see what we got to do. But that was actually our topic this week, also, is the combining cultures. That it's been, it's been a challenge on a lot of this. And it's kind of fun, and some of it's kind of fun and humorous. Like watching, some of it's a little frustrating. Yeah, like watching Universe. Like you didn't realize that it, I'm into it. It's big, and here in the it's, U.S., like the they call that football or softball, whatever is popular here in the U.S. Oh, football, baseball, yeah, yeah sports are, are more like popular. Everything that like gets opening, like what, and or something movie that is very big a game of thrones like people are like crazy at work like oh did you watch a game of thrones did you watch i'm like yeah ah! i've never seen an episode of it i've but never it's, seen it's it, just yeah. like no. interesting you know like other seeing other work it is other... it's kind of cool seeing some of this stuff but yeah. it's been kind of a fun ride in figuring out some of these culture differences and even the food though like yeah i'm gaining weight a lot well not huge there's a but because, like, I, I'm so lazy cooking my own meal, and that's why whatever you eat, I'll just eat because I'm like, okay, whatever is convenient, available, and easy and quick, and go for it. Yeah, definitely, on, unfortunately, one of the American diet. And, and that's yeah, it, it's been like, well. I've been like thinking that, thinking hard on them, like, yeah, I'm becoming more of Americanized with the food because whatever, quick, easy, and convenient and you, yes we winding up um it's easy to just go out and eat out compared to cooking it's yeah. easy to just you know but i know that is not good but it's just more of the culture it's just here in the u.s it's just boom 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 yeah everything's just thinking fast paced and that's... i feel like there's no like it feels like time tick 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 fast so quickly and in philippines there's so much time like you can spend like two hours three hours chit chatting and here like yes yeah, so a church and i realized i want to spend more time but oh i need to have work i need to go my laundry or do the you know you know what i mean unfortunately all too well that that's one part of this culture that the, the combination that you're getting used to getting getting places on time doing things that that living by a clock so heavily yeah and i realized too like going back to a filipino church and then for a long time like for like almost four years i've been like going to an american christian church and then 
seeing today and mesmerizing or reflecting like wow i've been used to with like just one hour service and now convert to like two hours and i feel like sometimes like you're eager to how much it's done but you realize that oh yeah i need to like try to leave that moment because filipinos like my culture is having that leaving that moment thing you know what i mean and then Bahala hmm? Bahala Bahala now. Now, whatever it is, is let's just go and be happy smile leave that moment to just spend time with these people have the friendship community fellowship and food but like in here in 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 the american culture it's just so different people are just passing by and like oh you have two minutes hi hello how are you <laughs> they're hot they're they're asking you how are you and it just mean hi hello and you're answer, answering question i'm good it's just not bad and like you cannot tell what you exactly feel because <laughs> it's a totally different perspective right yes so that's just our topic it's 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 cool it's amazing how we see two cultures combine right very much so and our topic for this uh live stream it, it was one of them that yeah <sighs> Americans tend to be very loud. I tend to be about a lot louder than most. And it's not angry. It's not upset. It's not anything. It's just the way I speak. Yeah. And there was more than once you were literally cowering in a corner just because I came in and was saying, hi, how you doing? What's going on? And, and you just had no idea how to react to it when, when you first got yeah. here. Because I started speaking and like sharing the entire story of what happened and why now. It just leave me alone and like they just want to to hear my answer. I'm good and fine. <laughs> Not like, oh, I did this, I cooked this, and did this, and this, and then took like 10 minutes or 20 minutes. Anyways, <laughs> it's interesting. Yes, it is. But, my, my boo hi.